I found it really hard. I used to get really angry with myself because I had to get my mum to help me all the time. It seemed really difficult at the time, and now, you know, you don't think anything of it, but well, about a year ago I broke my arm and I couldn't do it. And um, the memory came back of me not being able to do it when I was a little girl. Once you get old, you know, it's a lot easier to do things. It's easy to get undressed, is it? Yes. Why, do you think? Because uh, you don't, don't have to do up the buttons. And sometimes she puts the heel to the side, all on the top, and the toe at the bottom. Just come there. Come on here. Good boy. Thomas? 
was walking the dog and he sat down on a bench and it sat under his legs and um, I thought it was all right to touch it then so I went up and stroked it and it bit me on the hand. Well that sort of put me off dogs for quite a while. I'm all right now with them but it put me off quite a lot. My mum had made it clear to me that if a dog was with a person it'd be all right to touch it but it wasn't. What's her name? She was kissing her. Yeah. <laughs>
Almost. Come in. Hey. Come on, then. It's for you, too. Come on. How does that make you feel, holding that? Um, a bit small and horrible. I just feel like someone's just about to fall down it, you know? Yes. <laughs> Very small and yeah. horrible. <laughs> Pass it on and see what the next one feels like. Oh, I don't like this at all. It's Why not? I don't know, I just feel as I have to look up. And 
Make you feel safe or small or inadequate? What does so, it make you feel? That's because you're secure, that's like, going to protect you, isn't it? David, what does it make you feel when you hold that hand and imagine it pulling your arm? It's uh, kind of you're looking up all the time. It must be the horrible feeling. It doesn't make me feel safe at all. It makes me feel as if everything's going to topple down on me. To Makes everything sort of come, looks like it's coming on top of me. It's, I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me feel as if the person that sat there be very dominating, you know, because of the height. And it's a bit like a flashback, I suppose. It makes me realise what it must have been like to be. So they're small again. But will this make any difference to the way in which you take small children about with you in future? I think it would teach you to be a lot more patient with them. Um, you may want to hurry and get the shopping and everything, but it may just strike you that they want to, they may want to see something. So if you could slow down and let them see what they want to and just perhaps be a little bit more patient with them and go a bit slower. Now you can push the buggy. Where are you doing? No, straight along. Straight along there, that's right. Good boy. <laughs> 